Hi, everyone. My name is Conrad Barsky. So earlier this month, I finished a new AI model, which generates artwork from ASCII images. I thought it was kind of cool, and I wanted to put it out there for people to play with. But I soon realized I had an ethical quandary. Would it be safe for me to release this? With ASCII art this good, it might soon be impossible for people to distinguish digital images from reality. I was worried our feeble human minds would soon lose all grasp of reality once ASCII art of this high quality became widely available. If I was to release this new AI model the, without any safeguards, the world would quickly devolve into techno-primitivism. So I thought long and hard about this, and I came up with an answer to my quandary. What the hell? Let's just put it out there and see what happens. You can play with it right here at easybitmap.com. With the EasyBitmap library, you can create images from right inside your JavaScript code. Just declare some ASCII art, and EasyBitmap will automatically convert this art into beautiful full-color images in real time. To design your ASCII art, use the online art editor at easybitmap.com, and then just copy and paste your art right into your JavaScript code. Or browse the collection of existing ASCII art that others have posted on the site. There is also a version of the EasyBitmap library that generates images directly within React components, and even a version of the library for closure list programmers. Of course, this all raises a question. Why would you want to create images from ASCII art? And the answer is for rapid prototyping. If you're iterating through different versions of your prototype, you don't want to constantly be opening up Photoshop and drawing pictures and rendering them and saving them to your web server and referencing the files from your source code. Like this all takes time. And if you want to iterate quickly, it makes much more sense to have your images right inside of the source code that uses them. The creator of Clojure, Rich Hickey, likes to say that a major cause of bugs is from place-oriented programming, where we make certain assumptions about what type of data is in a certain place. And one of those places is the static file folder inside your web server. We don't want to make assumptions about what images are there while we're trying to build a prototype. It makes much more sense to use a declarative programming style where we have our images directly tied with the source code that uses those images. Now, of course, later on, once you're done with your prototype, you may want to use Photoshop, but now you can wait till the very end to do that. And who knows, you might even like the uh, art style that easy bitmap images have, and you could just leave those in there uh, for your finished product. Anyway, Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you find my easy bitmap library useful. Bye-bye.